Just wanted to uh, post this video because I did the best I could in researching uh, this unit and its model number and could not for the life of me find anything on it. Um, so hopefully this helps other people. I'm not sure if you'll have the same problem, but if you do, uh, hopefully you'll be able to fix it. Uh, so in this case, uh, we have a uh, Infinity Wine Enthusiast 170 wine bottle refrigerator. Um, these units uh, come and go. I picked this one up for free. Um, the guy told me that uh, it had a bad transformer and if I replaced it, um, there you go, it worked just fine. Obviously not, because I did go ahead and test the transformer and you know, as he said, it is bad. So figured that out, but the part that he didn't tell me is that the PCB board was fried. So where it converts from AC and steps it down to 14 volts, you could see that there's a lot of uh, death in here. Um, all the traces and everything down through here are completely shot and fried. Um, the capacitor was fried. The four-wave uh, bridge that was here is completely fried. It was almost charcoal. So I don't know what happened, whether or not it was a, uh, a power surge or somebody plugged in the wrong power adapter. I don't know what happened. So I started troubleshooting that further. I went and started researching parts, and naturally they don't manufacture parts for this anymore. You know, as for the consumer, they're not going to continue doing that. They just expect you to spend another fifteen to uh, two thousand dollars on another unit. So I couldn't find anything on eBay or any other you know shady sites. You know, um, in order to recover this fridge, I probably would have given my credit card information to a shady site just for this part, but uh, they don't make it anymore. So. Um, so what I did was, um, in order to recover it, I went out and found the correct capacitor. Um, I went and found a four-wave bridge, and I'll get to why it's mounted on the bottom here in a second. But uh, So what I did was, I, I noticed that the, all the traces in here were completely fried. Um, I didn't want to depend on that circuitry to function properly, so what I did was, um, right here where the 14-volt um, AC comes in, um, there was no positive and negative naturally, so I went ahead and just soldered it onto the two pin connector there. Um, <clears throat> when it transitions over to the capacitor, you got your negative and your positive. I just jumped straight over and soldered them on to the uh, negative and positive. Um, in doing so, I completely bypassed everything that was fried beneath. Um, so hopefully that um, fixes the issue. Um, still waiting on my transformer here, so as soon as I pick that up and plug it in, hopefully I have a uh, usable wine fridge. So hopefully this helps some people. I'll go ahead and follow up once I get that uh, transformer in, and uh, we'll see if we can get this sucker booted up.